This is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick tip on removing transmission lines from Chrysler branded vehicles without using the special tool that's required. Now, for the last 10 to 15 years, this has been the style of Quick Connect that Chrysler has used on their transmission lines both at the transmission and also the trans cooler. Now typically it uses a special tool to slide on the trans line and to spread out the e-clip that's in here that actually keeps the line held in place. This is the one that we're going to be dealing with today. So for now, let's go ahead and move over to the transmission and we'll talk more about it there. Now the Quick Connects may or may not have these plastic caps on top. The caps are there to help keep the spring clip in its locked position. It keeps it compressed. Now if you don't have them, have no fears, it's not going to cause any major problems. Some vehicles were designed without them. So in order to access the lock or that clip, we've got to lift up on those. They may be a little difficult, just grab you a flat tip screwdriver, get up under one of the edges, and lift up. Now we've got access to the spring loaded clip. Now once those plastic caps have been removed from the quick disconnects, grab you some kind of spray lubricant such as WD-40. Now the WD-40 is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to help lubricate the spring to help it come off and also it's going to rinse any kind of dirt or debris that's in there. So just kind of soak it down pretty good and now we can actually work on getting that clip off. Now what you see right here are the three styles of quick disconnects that we have for releasing these e-clips on the trans quick disconnect. Now you can buy these individually, usually around $20 give or take, or you can get them as a set anywhere from about $50 to $100 depending on the brand or the manufacturer. Now what I'm going to do is show you a way that you can release these clips without having to buy these special tools most likely using something you already have in your toolbox. At this point, I want to show you how to take it loose using that special tool. And then afterwards, I'll show you the quick and easy way that doesn't require purchasing any of these. Now, the way the special tool operates is you open it up, you slide it around the line or tube, and you drop it down. Now, it may be sitting on top of that clip currently. All you got to do is rotate it till it drops. Now, if you rotate it, Left to right, you'll notice that there's some free play, but there's also resistance on both ends. Now that resistance is the tool engaging or making contact with that clip. So if I turn it to the point where it's stopping and I turn it a little bit more, at this point, we've actually opened up the clip. Now we can grab the line and we can actually start working it up. And there you have it. We've disconnected the clip and actually released the line and was able to pull it up. So now we'll reinstall it and I'll show you how to do it the quick and easy way. Now instead of using the special tools to take those trans lines off, what I prefer to do is I grab a pick. Now this is a set from Milwaukee Tools. I love to use the multi-angled one that seems to get in there the best. The other one that works well is the 90 degree angle. If you don't have a pick set, a small flat tip screwdriver will work just as well. Now we're going to go ahead and grab that pick that we selected from that assortment. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to be removing the clip from the quick disconnect. If it removes, the line will just come straight up. So that way we don't have to release it. We'll just take it off and we'll reuse it and reinstall it afterwards. So what you do is you grab your pick and you find an edge that you can actually get into and you work it in there and you start prying it off gently. Now one thing you want to do is try to hold on to the clip and try not to lose it because it does have a little bit of spring tension to it so it may pop out. One thing I like to do is if I'm replacing a transmission or a cooler that already has these quick connects on here, I'll save the old clips. That way if I've lost one while taking it apart, I've got a replacement. So now that we've got this off, now it's just a matter of grabbing the line and working it off. Now before you go installing the line on the Quick Connect, we need to go ahead and reinstall the metal clip here. 
As you can see, we've got three V-shaped notches where they go into these cutouts along the perimeter upper edge of the quick connect. Once we're done, you'll actually be able to see them protruding through there. But in the meantime, as we're sliding this back on, we're going to avoid those. We're going to use the solid areas to slide it on. Just get it where you can get on. Work it on. And there you have it. We're fully locked in place. Now we can actually reinstall the line and make sure that it snaps into place and that we can actually see those three V's above the raised lip of that trans line. Now the best thing at this point is to verify that the trans line is fully seated. And if you look like I mentioned a minute ago, you can actually see those V cuts that are actually in that spring clip. You can actually see them. So at this point, you know that that lip on the trans line is below there. So the line is locked in place. If you've got your plastic cover at this point, you can slide it over. If you do not, it's going to be fine. Remember, the plastic cover just kind of keeps that clip kind of compressed in there to make it a more secure lock. So if you found the tip to be helpful, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up on YouTube. If you got any comments or suggestions about anything you saw in today's video or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, always feel free to email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com. First time you're ever watching one of these videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also that little bell icon, click it as well. That way you get notified instantly when videos such as this get uploaded. You can also find me on all the popular social media apps such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And last but not least, if you like to shop on Amazon, please feel free to use the link that's in the description below this video. Any purchases that you make will help support this channel. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching.